signs that you have a Taurus that wants to overwinter. It uh, is just munching and happy and any chance you look at it, it's typically either eating or drinking or underneath the lamp or just doing things. That is a, a, a nice, young, healthy tortoise. It's actually a, a re-homer, so I can't take the credit for its smooth-ish shell and slightly the triple pyramid there. But uh, March, she is a overwinter through and through, I think. And as time has went on, I have learned that my my very first person all tortoise, like the very the first one that I own myself, she is a natural want to brew mater. I was hoping that having these little houses even closer to the heat lab that that would uh, hold her back from being uh, so lethargic at this these winter times. But uh, honestly, in my opinion, this tortoise is it just made it lazier. Honestly. It, so I think as time goes on, Dash will be added to the brumation list. Uh, you can quickly just tell if your Taurus is wanting to brumate. I wouldn't brumate a Taurus if it is new to you, like less than a year. I wouldn't brumate a Taurus if it is younger than a year. I wouldn't brumate or hibernate, I should say. I wouldn't do either of those things without a worm count, without a like previous Taurus experience and I highly recommend joining multiple Taurus hibernation groups and deciding is your Taurus a hibernator or a brewmater or maybe your Taurus is a like a leopard or a sulcata or sulcata or a red foot and and does none of those things and it just needs to overwinter with supplemental heat to replicate its natural habitat so that is my touch on the topics of brumation and and uh hibernation i believe next year i will probably brumate dash i am in the midst of we'll say a food wean off of scooter and we'll do uh i'm not gonna say star but uh he has food available to him at times but lesser than and we are just keeping him max hydrated for this month as the main goal. And then uh, this month he's getting UV. And then next month he will get less UV, less heat. And I'm hoping I can naturally just wind him down uh, for like two weeks like that. And then uh, into the garage for a colder temperature for the... Mm, I'm, I'm going to aim for a, like a good month so that he's just one less mouth to feed. He is the poop master. He's always dragging his poop all over the place. It makes my, uh, my living room here smell. So I'm hoping to eliminate this feature from him by even if it is only a month. It's uh, one less month that he's in my house before he goes back into the garage. So that's the main intentions with that. Same with any other Taurus that I brew me. It's less food, it's less lights. It's what they naturally want to do. It appears to be like Dash being a prime example, even with heat and light, she's showing me that she wants to brew mate. So uh, I, it's the mid end October here. Like, so I'm, I'm gonna pursue these ideas more as time goes on. And I appreciate you guys following along with me. This is your pal Hopkins coach with Natural Taurus Keepers Canada. Touching on the topics of brumation and hibernation, signing out.